Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today's talk I want to begin with the Chinese Communist Party. Just yesterday I have seen some of the Indian news channels on YouTube and have come across that the Chinese Communist Party army has killed 20 Indian soldiers within the line of control and this is very wrong. You see, the Chinese Communist Party, they actually base their politics and policies on atheism. And why do I say that? Of course, the Chinese Communist Party is atheistic in nature and therefore they see themselves as lions and they see other people who choose to believe in God, who choose to believe in the Creator Allah as inferior to them. This phenomena is nothing new. The Nazi generals and Adolf Hitler and of course Stalin who were influenced by the Darwinian theory of evolution which basically is natural selection uh, therefore survival of the fittest saw themselves as lions and other people as rabbits and deers and antelopes. So how do we address this problem? The Chinese Communist Party is a big problem in the world because as you can see what they are trying to do is they are trying to dominate the world in different ways economically and now you know with the military power and so let's see what the Chinese Communist Party at the moment the wrongs they are doing so you have what they are doing to the Uyghur Muslims you see there is over two million two million Uyghur Muslims in Chinese Communist Party concentration camps and I would like to distinguish and clear something very important it is the Chinese Communist Party is doing all the wrongs not the Chinese people you see the Chinese people in general they actually don't know what the Chinese Communist Party government is doing most of the time so the Chinese Communist Party is corrupted uh, they are doing wrong so they have locked up over two million Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps the Chinese Communist Party I believe is planning to is planning to dominate and take over the world and I believe they are the Chinese Communist Party is preparing for war how you see what they want to do is they want to dominate the world and make everyone their slaves and put everyone into concentration camps. That's what I believe. Now, look at what they are doing to Hong Kong. See, Hong Kong is an independent uh, country, but the Chinese Communist Party basically want to take Hong Kong under their arms. Same with Taiwan. The Chinese Communist Party does not recognize Taiwan as an independent country, Hong Kong as an independent country, Tibet as an independent country. 
Xinjiang, <coughs> which is East Turkestan as an independent country. And this is, you know, basically nothing new. Uh, Julius Caesar did the same thing by, you know, invading and acquiring more land, invading Adolf Hitler did the same thing when he started, like you say, in the 1935, and then, you know, invaded Poland, invaded uh, Czechoslovakia, in, invaded France, and and wanted to invade Britain and therefore America as well. Um, so this is nothing new, and but what we should what we should do we should unite we all should unite those who believe in freedom and honor those who believe in freedom and honor should unite and take a stand against the chinese communist party look at what they are doing to the indian soldiers now in the line of control, uh, look what they are planning to do. Uh, basically, what the Chinese Communist Party does, they will use their population, their labor, who they don't care about these their own people, and they will, you know, work them in factories, uh, and don't, you know, they won't even establish a minimum wage, nothing like that. And of course, companies like Apple, you know, exploit these uh, uh, what we call uh, um, uh, employ uh, labor markets uh, uh, by just paying uh, someone who is working in an Apple factory in China like uh, four dollars uh, for for a day's work. And you, you know, this is this is of course I talked about you know greed, and when you choose greed, then you know you ruin everything. That's correct. We, as the children of Adam, have become. Um, I have to say, we have become stupid, because we just like to consume stuff. We like, we just like to buy stuff throw away good stuff you will have people you know throwing away good TVs uh, good smartphones so they can buy the latest smartphone and the latest TV and the latest sofa and the latest you know uh, you will have people who will redecorate their interior you know their houses uh, change carpets every 12 months change wallpaper every 12 months you know why is this is nonsense this is wrong as well and this does not help the planet because every time every time you buy something yeah if fossil fuel is used to produce that whatever it is you know carpets and, and wallpapers and paint and 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 then you are adding this is adding um, carbon dioxide and methane gas to the atmosphere and you are you are, you know, increasing climate change, and and this is wrong. Are we going to leave uh, a, a really? Uh, 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 are we going to leave uh, this earth? You know, it's we are destroying the earth, yeah, by consuming too much, yeah. Are we going to leave a uh, 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 broken? Uh, a temperamental earth to our uh, grandchildren and I, I would hope the answer would be no so we can fix this problem and first of all how we unite together and take a stand against the Chinese Communist Party firstly is to boycott Chinese products stop buying Chinese goods no matter how cheap they are, stop buying Chinese goods, okay? And secondly, so firstly, stop buying Chinese goods. I mean, they're not very good in quality anyway. I mean, made in Japan is better. I mean, made in China, it's basically substandard, you know. The quality is not there. So firstly, stop buying Chinese goods. Secondly, invest in our children tell them to read, tell them to study and 
Therefore, let's begin to manufacture our, our own goods and services that we need. Like, let's begin to manufacture our own, you know, medicines and our own essential, you know, like clothing and uh, stuff, like, you know, trainers, yeah? And, and uh, let's begin to manufacture. That way, we don't depend on the Chinese... Uh, uh, manufacturing factories because this is how you see the Chinese Communist Party using their cheap labor force and producing all sorts of substandard uh, less quality products and selling them all over the world and taking that money and then they you know they training uh, their people to become soldiers and buying weapons and buying more weapons and you know expanding their military might and this is what's going on we we need to wake up and we need to uh, understand that firstly we need to stop buying Chinese stuff boycott Chinese products okay also if you have a working uh, uh, washing machine and it works yeah, and it's five years old and it still works. Don't buy a new one. You have a TV and it works and it's about six years old. Don't buy a new one. You have a smartphone that works. Keep it. You don't need to, you know, you don't need to buy or upgrade uh, smartphones every year. This is silly. Yeah? And this does not help the, the, the uh, global warming. This is bad for climate change. We have to become more cooperative in understanding that how we live has an impact on on uh, our uh, home which is planet earth okay so uh, and then thirdly we should tell the chinese communist party to to basically stop all the wrongs that, that they are doing and to begin with, they should the, the Chinese Communist Party should free all the Uyghur Muslims from the concentration camps. They should close all the concentration camps. This is wrong. This is inhumane. Even for atheists, you know, atheists listening to this podcast should tell the atheistic communist Chinese Communist Party to stop, to close the... Chinese concentration camps and free all the Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities inside the Chinese Communist Party, Chinese concentration camps. This is wrong. In the Holocaust, we we said never again. Uh, Auschwitz, you know, Nazi Germany, uh, Jewish concentration camps. We said we said never again, and and you know this is happening all. This is happening again. In, in China this time. So whoever is listening to, do, to this podcast, please share my, my videos, please share this particular video and raise awareness, spread awareness and we should tell everybody to, to... So you see, when we stop buying Chinese goods, when we stop, when we expose the Chinese Communist Party for who they are, what they stand for, which is they are criminals, they are, they are just criminals. The Chinese Communist Party regime, they are just criminals. That's it. They are not good people. Okay? So, now let's carry on with what is permanent success. Now, you see, lack of knowledge leads uh, people to make things up. In other words, speculate. Lack of learning leads us to believe in foolish and naive men, such as Lawrence Krauss, Richard Dawkins, Charles Darwin, Stephen Hawkins, and the likes of them. YOLO, you only live once, is incorrect and illogical. We have free will and positive and negative nature. We have been created this way with dual nature and free will, so we can be tested by the Creator Allah. The Creator Allah chose to create us with a soul, Ruh in Arabic, programmed with free will in order to see how many of us choose the Creator Allah. 
in other words, Islam. Therefore, to experience genuine love and happiness. The reason for the free will is for the Creator Allah to experience genuine gratitude from us. Therefore, we choose to be Muslim and worship Allah as a Muslim. By Islam, read the book Divine Reality by Hamza and says, Watch the YouTube video of Yusuf Estes, story of Yusuf Estes from darkness to light. Islam, Quran tells the Muslims to ponder over the Creator's creation such as the planets and the galaxies, the complex cell, thousands of different types of species. Importantly, Islam has deterrents such as no alcohol, no drugs, no gambling. These deterrents applied in one's life does help the children of Adam. Peace be upon Adam. Our dual nature, negative and positive, proves life on earth is a test, full of tests, big and small. Life on earth is an examination and also the part of life on and inside earth is temporary. Importantly, overall, our lives are permanent. Read my article, What Keeps Us Alive, the E article on Amazon. The Ruh soul makes your life and my life permanent. We were created eternal, but you cannot do as you please. Islam, the Quran, the Creator, Allah mentions sustenance, maintenance and care. We all have systems in our bodies that we take for granted, such as the circulatory system and the digestive system the endocrine system and so forth. The composition of the gases that is air, nitrogen, oxygen and argon, all this is maintenance and care from the Creator, which proves the Creator has plans for us. You see, the heart beats about 70 to 75 times per minute. And if the Creator Allah decided to tell the heart yes the, the creator allah can communicate with cells the, the creator allah can communicate with your heart and my heart because the you see the heart the cells the the mind has external intelligence basically the external intelligence comes from the creator allah meaning you know, how does the cells know what to do? Also, you know, I don't tell my stomach cells and my intestine cells to do their job. They just do it. But who programmed these cells to do their jobs? Of course, that was the Creator, Allah. Allahu Akbar. So you see, yes, not to, you know, what we call... Um, confuse yourself so the free will Allah has given us it is limited but it is enough so you can choose which path to take meaning do you want to take the path which is Islamic path the Islamic path you know the path of the Muslim is to embrace and accept Islam choose Islam and worship the Creator Allah as a Muslim and hopefully with Allah's mercy and permission will enter Jannah on Judgment Day. And, and the opposite path is the path to punishment. So if you choose the path to punishment, then you end up in the fire of Jahannam, hellfire. Having said this, the Creator Allah knows best. So the Quran mentions obedience and disobedience. This is free will. This is negative nature and positive nature because we have free will. Therefore, we can, if we choose, therefore we can disobey or choose to obey the Creator Allah. So, yes, free will allows choices and therefore you 
have a choice. You you can choose to become a Muslim and go to paradise, or you can choose uh, not to uh, believe in the Creator Allah, not to believe in Islam, and then unfortunately you have chosen the path to punishment. This is important to understand and I have talked about this again and again in my other videos. So when you look at these factors in Islam, in the facts, so what I'm saying is look, Islam is the correct Islam is the correct guidance. Islam Islam and I'll say again to emphasize, Islam is the correct guidance from the Creator Allah. How Islam has deterrence, such as no alcohol, no drugs, no gambling, no sex before marriage. Yes, in Sikhism, there is no alcohol allowed, but in Sikhism, the, they actually have stole from Islam. And when you look into Sikhism, you will find that Sikhism is a combination of Islam and Hinduism. So I had to clarify this. So, uh, and of course, Sikhism uh, don't have prophethood. Uh, prophethood is important to, uh, for us to get revelation from the Creator Allah, because the Creator Allah is outside the limited multiverse because the Creator Allah is extremely big and extremely powerful. Therefore, the Creator Allah is outside the, the uh, limited multiverse. So, for us to get revelation, then the Creator Allah will give revelation to a angel and the angel will come and give the revelation to a prophet and and that's why prophet and uh, or give the revelation to prophet or a messenger and that's why prophets and messengers are important uh, Sikhism don't have that so that's clear that Sikhism is basically uh, man-made coming back to Islam Islam is the correct guidance from the Creator Allah and also you can look into Islam talks about life is the earthly life is the earthly life is the examination you know full of tests big and small uh, the Creator Allah says uh, in the Quran that Allah will test us with uh, loss of property with health and wealth with basically with everything uh, at the moment, this coronavirus is a test from the Creator Allah. So, so uh, yes, so this is important to understand uh, that uh, our choices are ours. And so if you choose to be a non-Muslim and if you choose to live a non-Muslim life, and then this will uh, take you uh, into the fire of Jahannam, hellfire, having said this, the Creator Allah knows best, then you see you, you, have, you cannot blame anyone else uh, but yourself. So make the correct choice. The correct choice, the intellectual choice is Islam. By the way, Islam is perfect, Muslims are not. That's because we have free will. You see, I've mentioned this before, the number one priority, the number one uh, uh, priority in regards to the positive nature factor, the number one priority within the dual nature Therefore, the positive nature factor and using the positive nature factor, the number one priority should be for everyone to choose to be grateful to the Creator Allah 
meaning to become a Muslim and worship the Creator Allah as a Muslim and then with Allah's permission get the ultimate gift which is your own garden, your own Jannah, your own paradise. Amen. Um, you see, the thing about free will is that if the Creator interferes with the free will, then our choices are compromised. There is no loyalty to our choices. There is no sincerity in our choices. Then therefore we don't have free will. And when you become a sincere Muslim, giving your free will back to the Creator in order to live a life, live the earthly life according to the Quran and Sunnah, the Creator loves that. But don't forget, the Creator is just, fair, and there is reward and punishment. So if you take the opposite path, such as you want to live your life as a non-Muslim because of your free will, the free will the Creator gave you in the first place, that means you do not ha you. That means you have not done your job, you failed your test, and so forth. And on judgment day, you have to explain the cre explain to the Creator Allah, if the Creator Allah lets you, and Allah the Creator knows best. Meaning <clears throat> that when the angel of death comes to you to take, to reclaim the soul, your soul and my soul, which belongs to the Creator Allah, then it's too late. Yeah, what I'm saying is become a Muslim today. Don't delay. Become a Muslim today. Don't delay and save the real you, which is your soul, not your earthly body. So this is important, you see, these podcasts and many more to come is very important to listen to and share with your family and friends and with everyone. You see, uh, love for others, love for others what you want for yourself and I want to go to paradise and I want everyone to go to paradise. But you have to make the correct choice and the correct choice is Islam because Islam is the correct guidance from the Creator Allah. And I have talked about uh, non-Muslim ideologies uh, but I will quickly summarize. So like I said, Sikhism is a combination of Islam and Hinduism so it's, it actually doesn't work and there is no prophethood there is no revelation in Sikhism, so it doesn't actually work. It won't work. It's incorrect. Christianity, the Trinity, is a big uh, confusing issue. And also on YouTube you will find a lot of Christians, they understand that Trinity is a big issue and they have reverted back to Islam. They have converted back to Islam. Alhamdulillah such as Abdurrahim Green, Yusuf Esters, Yusha Evans, his YouTube video, How the Bible Led Me to Islam. You want to check that out. Awesome video, full of uh, wisdom, full of knowledge. Um, Hinduism, uh, basically statue worshipping and then going through statue worshipping to Bhagwan, to the, to the main God. Again, confusing and incorrect because uh, the, the Creator Allah says in the Quran anyone, you, me, anyone who wants to uh, supplicate, who wants to request, who wants to do dua and ask the Creator Allah uh, for example to forgive uh, his or her sins, to ask the Creator Allah uh, for a cure for a disease, then you do this directly. This is what the Creator Allah tells us and our scholars in Islam tells us that we have access to the Creator Allah direct. We have direct access. Allahu Akbar. I mean, that's just awesome. That See, how Islam is correct, yeah? Islam is the correct guidance because we have access to the Creator Allah. Islam has deterrence, yeah? No alcohol, 
no drugs. Yeah, I've talked about this, all this in my other videos. Uh, let's look at, so Hinduism doesn't work. Judaism, again, doesn't work because Judaism, they did not accept the final revelation and they did not accept uh, the final prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Judaism, you know, doesn't work. Okay, and of course there is no deterrence in Judaism. So it doesn't work. So Christianity has no deterrence. Hinduism has no deterrence. Judaism has no deterrence. Atheism, Darwinism, uh, Sikhism, like I said, it's a combination of Islam and uh, Hinduism. And there is no prophethood. Um, so non-Muslim ideologies, as you can, uh, as as you have heard, I just mentioned, uh, they they don't work. They are incorrect. And Islam uh, uh, has linguistic miracles. Uh, you can know more about linguistic miracles if you search on YouTube. Linguistic Miracles by Numan Ali Khan, Linguistic Miracles by Hamza Andrzej Zotsis. Um, and you will find that, you know, Islam and, and the preservation of, of, of the Quran, also there are videos in regards to the preservation of the Quran in uh, Muhammad Hijab's YouTube channel, uh, which is named Muhammad, Muhammad Hijab. Uh, also, Muhammad Hijab talks about that Shia Islam is incorrect because Shia, some Shias believe in 12 Imams and they believe the Imams have powers uh, similar to the Creator Allah, astaghfirullah. That is so wrong and incorrect. But Muhammad Hijab has more details and videos and Muhammad Hijab have debated and discussed with Shia Muslims in regards to these 12 Imams and also uh, Shia Muslims, Shia Muslims, some of them don't, uh, they, they believe, uh, you know, they, they don't agree with the, the rightly guided Khalifs and also the, some of the Shia Muslims believe that uh, uh, Quran is, is not preserved, astaghfirullah, uh, so Allah knows best and uh, Muhammad Hijab if you look into his YouTube channel he will explain all this regarding Shia Islam regarding Ahmadiyya Islam um, regarding um, incorrect uh, other incorrect uh, uh, non-Muslim ideologies you see uh, uh, I am a Sunni Muslim meaning uh, so therefore Quran and Sunnah and so this is important Quran and Sunnah uh, Sunni Muslim uh, being a Sunni Muslim is the correct Islam yeah, Sunni Muslim is on the correct Islam so I am a Sunni Muslim what that means is I believe uh, the Quran is 100% true the Quran is 100% accurate, the Quran is uh, preserved, 100% preserved. I believe Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam narrations are correct and true, 100%. I believe Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teachings are correct and true, 100%. So that's, that's a Sunni Muslim. Yeah, not these, you know, 12 Imams, I don't know what, you know, that's kind of confusing. And so, yes, so uh, I would like to um, carry on for a little while. So, uh, let's talk about, um, let's see, um, so, just uh, bear with me. Yeah. What what is good and what is bad? How do you know? The thinking mind understands the consequences of doing good and bad, but how can the mind differentiate 
this without a moral base that what is good and what is bad but miraculously the human thinking and self-reflecting mind can and does know the difference between what is acceptable in a society and what is not. This brings me to dual nature. What you have just heard, it is important for you to reflect and naturally you should have questions for me which I will be pleased to answer as best as I can. A little bit about me. I read a lot and then I try to digest what I have read and also reflect on what I have read. For example, when I read The God Delusion a few years ago, I felt a little empty at first. And by the way, I don't believe in the Darwinian theory of evolution to be a absolute fact. It is just a working model. Natural selection and random mutations and random mutations gives you cancer, so it doesn't actually work. And natural selection is to do with survival of the fittest. Again, if you apply that to the uh, children of Adam, peace be upon Adam, then natural selection doesn't actually work. We all know what Adolf Hitler did and what Stalin did and what the atheistic Chinese Communist Party are doing in regards to Darwinian theory of evolution. You see, when uh, the Chinese Communist Party are influenced by the Darwinian theory of evolution, also the Rohingya uh, military uh, is influenced by the Darwinian theory of evolution and whoever else. And what does Darwinian theory Darwinian theory of evolution teaches us is that uh, natural selection and natural selection is basically survival of the fittest so the strongest basically will kill the weakest and that's natural selection and so just for that we should not actually take Darwinian theory of evolution seriously and basically find alternative um, biological uh, methods and approach uh, to solving uh, uh, scientific uh, issues and problems. So I would stop there and I will um, I would hope that uh, if you can share my videos and tell others about my videos that will be wonderful uh, thank you very much